Athena is a full organ bioreactor, liver, heart, lung, and kidney. They are designed to simulate the, either the architecture of the organ system or to simulate the function of the organ system. The four organ systems are integrated by a common universal media, what we call blood surrogate. The idea is that you have a rapid drug screening platform. It enables high throughput. Uh, it, it will bridge the gap between cellular work or animal work and actual human clinical studies. And so it's, you know, drug screening, toxicology, threat agents, for example, medical countermeasures. Depending upon the customer, the need can be uh, aligned to the need of the customer. Our goal uh, from the beginning is to make a heart where we can do measurements that are similar to those done in the clinic using uh, real humans. So we need to first examine that structure and mimic that as closely as possible. Uh, and that begins with the musculature of the heart. We are able to make uh, webs of fiber uh, in the shape of the ventricle. Uh, and this forms a scaffold on which we can uh, seed cells, uh, cardiac heart cells that contract. And after a few days in culture, they form a tissue and they're able to uh, contract. So when they contract in unison, they eject fluid out of the heart similar to the way that a human ventricle does. Now it's our normal operative mode. Our focus is of course to rebuild in vitro liver uh, that is functional and that's of course not an easy challenge. Liver is one of the most metabolizing uh, organs especially in the case of drugs and uh, for establishing a drug testing model you need the liver. In this big project, the Athena project, the second challenge or ideas of course, what would the liver metabolites do when they hit at the heart. And I think in my point of view, it's very important to look at the full organ. We have two compartments in the lung, the bronchial and the alveolar. Uh, and we have a unique uh, structure for the bronchial component that simulates the architecture of the lung. Uh, the one we are focusing now at this point in getting the alveolar system up and running. In some aspects of this work, we are ahead of target. Uh, there's something that we've sort of gone beyond what we were supposed to do and we, so that we feel confident with our systems. My role in the Athena project is incorporating the analytical component that's associated with looking at the output of the liver and the output of the heart. We're looking at organ functionality and also how the organs might be talking to each other. That's, a, that's important also. Is the output of the liver affecting the heart or is it damaging the heart or hurting the heart? In terms of the analytics, which is what we're interested in, what's the smallest amount of sample that we can take from these devices and still get functional information from? I mean, we're pushing the envelope for technology in, in terms of getting information from these small, small devices. When uh, I first met my boss, he told me, I want to build a heart. And I thought, uh, so do I. And after uh, a few nights in the lab getting things working, um, you get rewarded with those eureka moments. So it was exciting. Biology and um, engineering has to fit and find ways together. We have to tell the engineers, OK, that's not working with the biology and the other way around. But it's a great, fantastic team. It's very exciting. It's a lot of work. It's been uh, a lot of challenges, obviously. I think the big milestone is the integration, optimal integration. Of course, LANL has to, has to integrate the systems, has to make sure the engineering and the software is compatible with the system. So yeah, I think I, we were pretty happy with the progress. I think there are a lot more organs that we can go after. Yes. You know, this is just the, just, just the tip of the uh, you know, mountain. Mm -hmm.